this video I'll be showing you guys uh, replacing how I'm going to repair this clutch. So as you can see, there's nothing wrong with the mechanisms. And uh, what most people do now when the clutch is worn or when the clutch starts slipping, it's because the levers or the springs, if you're uh, if you have a car before that's that was made before 1985 or around there um, you'd probably just replace the whole clutch however I'm I don't have time or funds so instead of just replacing the whole thing I'm just gonna replace the uh, parts that are worn out which just happens to be the springs so the manual lists uh, a required force in pounds for this spring for each of the springs which is 230 pounds at a one and a half inch compression so when the spring is compressed that means that when the spring is compressed to a length of one and a half inches um, then it should have exerted force of 230 uh, pounds or foot pounds or a psi sorry not foot pounds just psi and uh, so Sure enough, I put it on the uh, on the gauge, and these springs are at about 160 to 170, so they are weak. So they're about 50 pounds weaker than they're supposed to be. Each one of them. Originally, they're six, so six times uh, 50 uh, that gives us about 300 pounds uh, short of force. We're less. Uh, we're 300 pounds down. So that, that's probably enough to cause this, the clutch to slip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace these springs by stronger ones and I'm going to add three extra springs on the middle. They, as you can see they have a total of nine um, slots or ridges for the springs. But originally you only, they, it only came with uh, six springs. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put extra springs and uh, uh, probably stronger springs as well. It's sort of trial and error. And error. I don't know uh, if I just replace it with these springs, which just happens to be just valve springs um, that I had. So uh, first of all, let's. Uh, I'll show you what the uh, uh, pressure gauge looks like. So I get my uh, vernier dial and. Uh, Compress the spring till it's at one and a half. You can see it's at one and a half. And our force gauge, our pressure gauge, shows we're at about 180 uh, pounds of force. So it's still weaker than what we're supposed to have, uh, which is a 330. However, I'm going to put three extra springs. So it should compensate for that, but uh, we might still have to change all springs to a stronger spring. That's at least maybe 200 or uh, I don't know what other specifications. So instead of replacing, once again, instead of replacing the whole clutch, I'm just going to replace the springs, which is much cheaper, easier, and faster. So I'm going to go to a site called Summit Racing, and there they list the dimensions as well as the force uh, for, for valve springs. So once again, these are used the springs used on valves uh, for the for the engine, uh, the exhaust valves and the intake valves. So fortunately, they'll have the dimensions there and the information that I need. And then, if I want to save some money, I'll get the part number from them and uh, look for it on Rock Auto, which is probably cheaper. But they don't um, have a search uh, a search function for. Uh, uh, dimensions for valve springs so that's how you uh, replace uh, or repair your clutch by just replacing the worn out parts instead of replacing the whole clutch which is expensive and uh, takes long and sometimes long hours of researching thanks for watching